The following presentation is brought to you by the University of Arkansas System, Division of Agriculture. Hi, my name is Dr. Don Johnson. I'm a professor of entomology at the University of Arkansas. Today, I'm going to discuss spotted wing drosophila as a pest of blackberry. Spotted wing drosophila, or SWD, is a small fly related to the vinegar flies you commonly find in your home on rotten bananas. This pest was introduced into the United States in 2008 from Asia. It has since spread across the U.S. and was first found in Arkansas in 2012. SWD flies lay their eggs in soft, ripening fruits. These eggs develop into larvae over a period of seven to 10 days. Due to their rapid development, SWD can have five or more generations per season in Arkansas. For this reason, SWD has quickly become a major pest of many of our soft skin fruit crops, including blackberry and raspberry. There are several key parts of successful SWD management in blackberry. The first is trapping and monitoring, which identifies if and when SWD flies become active in your crop. The second is accurate identification of the pest. The last step is to use appropriate control methods. Today, I am going to discuss SWD trapping and accurate identification of SWD. The first step to trapping is to purchase or construct SWD traps. This is a 32 ounce or one quart deli cup that you can probably get in any store with potato salad and it consists of a red and black piece of tape and in between I have 20 holes that are each 3 16 of an inch in diameter and you'll see these are all on one side and then the back side we don't have any holes because we'll be pouring out the solution that will be inside out of it later. Then the top or the lid we have a the bait, this is called SWD bait, that attracts the flies to the trap. And before we close it, we actually add about, up to about this red line, bottom of the red line, we add apple cider vinegar. And we just snap the top or the lid back, back on, make sure it's closed. Okay, now I'm going to place the trap on the top trellis wire, which is pretty close to the area where the fruit are. And it's usually, in, I put it in the perimeter because we, we seem to have a lot more flies coming in from the perimeter into the planting all season long. Okay, now we've detached the trap from the trellis wire and you can see all these holes on this side, so we're gonna pour out the flies that are inside. Here you can see the flies inside. And we can put this sieve right here. Sometimes it's a balancing act. What we're gonna do is just sieve the flies out of the vinegar. Check traps weekly for flies in the vinegar. Use the kitchen sieve to remove and examine flies to see if they are in fact SWD or some other type of small fly. SWD flies are two to three millimeters long. Males have one black spot on each of the wings, which is where the name spotted wing comes from. And they also have two sets of black combs on the lower parts of their front legs. Females do not have wing spots, nor do they have black combs on their legs. But they do have an amber-colored saw-like device on their abdomen called an ovipositor, which they use to cut fruit skin and lay eggs under the skin. If SWD flies are captured in the traps and fruit are beginning to ripen, then make weekly insecticide applications until harvest is completed. It is recommended that growers harvest daily or every other day to lessen egg laying 
and refrigerate these fruit immediately to prevent larval development in the fruit. Also, remove overripe and rotten fruit from a planting to reduce fly numbers. We have had success using one millimeter mesh insect screen to exclude flies from laying eggs in berry plantings. There are two methods used to determine if ripe fruit have become infested. Randomly collect 30 ripe fruit from the planting being harvested. Use a 20x magnification hand lens and check for presence of SWD eggs in droops near top half of berry near the stem end. You can soak these 30 fruit for 30 minutes in one quart of water, either mixed with one quarter cup salt or three quarter cup sugar. If present, white larvae one to three millimeters long will float to the surface. I hope this video has helped you to better understand how to manage spotted wing Drosophila in your blackberry planting. Thanks for watching. For more information on how to grow blackberries, visit our website, www.uaex.edu/blackberryschool.